All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Madoka Chan episode five. Um, I want to say happy Halloween to you guys. This is the first video I will be uploading today of all videos because I'm behind on something that was supposed to come out yesterday. Um, but yeah, my my voice might sound a bit croaky because I was uh, celebrating last night. Um, and uh, as well as I, obviously first ep the episode of the day that I'm recording uh, and it also being Halloween and it being a horror anime. So how perfect for this to come out today. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this episode after the last episode it was so, so good. Um, such a big shock to me. Um, kind of looking back at it though, it's like crazy kind of what what was shown and we didn't even realize um, about her dad. But yeah, uh, definitely looking forward to the episode and that is that. Anyway guys, if you like the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's go into this episode right now. Oh, she's a returning character and uh, blonde haired girl's finally getting some time maybe. <laughs> what is with this girl's personality? What is she like then? Ooh. Is she actually someone that can exercise these ghosts? Like, she can faintly see them. Yeah, okay. Wait, so this girl has been able to see it since she was, like, only a little child. How long has Miko been able to see these ghosts then? Wait, so she's saying she can't exercise spirits yet? Oh, okay, so this is now. Ah, got it. So this is Jill after what just happened. Well, there is someone. It's awesome that we're, that we're finally getting an episode about this girl. Five episodes in. Oh, is that why she's always watching them then? I thought it was specifically about ghosts. Or maybe she thinks, oh, it could just be a coincidence, no? She's realizing that she's not alone. She's not the only person with abilities like this. <laughs> okay, this, this isn't creepy as hell. Hmm, this isn't creepy as hell. What the hell's going on? I'd be confused as hell. What the fuck? Oh, it's the little little dudes. Oh well, it's not the same little dudes. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Her ability to ignore stuff. That's funny. Ah, oh, so she knows a lot about them. She knows how to attract them and stuff. She's still trying to deny it, is it? Why is she still denying it at this point? It's only some little ghosts there. It's not like, you know, they're going to tell the other ghosts or whatever. What the fuck? Did she not see the big one? Oh, dude. She definitely is stronger in the sense of being able to see these things. So Yulia can't see, like, the big, like, terrifying-looking ones, then. Yeah, I see why she doesn't want to explain it to her now. Hm. She really doesn't understand the presence that's, that is with her right now. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> is he trying to knock her out? Oh, this poor girl, man. If it were only the little dude here, she might actually admit to her. <laughs> no. You just got choked out. Maybe she only sees good ones. Or maybe just it's just weak ones she can see. Well, at least she actually got to admit to her that she can see them. I understand why she wouldn't want to kind of fully get her involved, considering she can't see the big ones. <laughs> oh god, completely took that the wrong way. Oh god, she's ended up making like an enemy out of her or something. <laughs> oh 
How has this become a rumor? They go lingerie shopping again. Or underwear shopping. The hell? <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Walking at night and seeing these things, man, that is too creepy. Can she actually feel it touching her? It it's an actual woman, not a ghost. True, it's not like the other girl where she can just faintly see like something. She fully sees them as like real things. Oh. I hate seeing old people like this. <laughs> like, dude, I just want to get home. Can uh, can you hurry up? Oh god, what the hell is this one? Yeah, that's not a person. Why is it saying 463? What is this? Is it like a code or something? <laughs> is that the internet? Yes, Granny. 4631. Oh, is this like her husband or something? Oh, does that mean something to her? Where is she going? Oh, it's a code to a safe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's become like a completely different person now that she's got a present. Oh. <laughs> See, you need to be able to help people more and do these kind of things. <laughs> oh, made me tear up, man, for God's sake. Oh, they've even got the dad still in the little picture. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Let's see what we got at the end here. <laughs> this thing is still here. Oh my god. Wait, is that like where they go to pass on or something? Alright, so that was Mariko chan episode 5. Um, ah, I, that was another really good episode. It's Halloween. I was expecting a bit more spooky, but um, obviously it wasn't kind of timed in that way. It just, you know, happened to be today uh, that an episode came out. But uh, I really enjoyed that episode. Um, it's definitely had me tearing up again with the uh, with the part of the kind of end of episode. Um, I hope as she goes on, she continues to kind of be able to help people like this. Um, or help the the ghosts have got you know wishes that they still need to get done. Um, who knows how long you know he's been waiting to kind of do that and kind of help his obviously wife. And it was so sweet to see her like come back to herself again once she you know got the present or got the thing out of the safe. That was really cute. And it, as I say, it was making me tear up. Um, but yeah, really good episode. That's all I really have to say. And I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.